everyone welcome to 110 engineering youtube channel this is our tutorial number 8 on antennas and wave propagation lab in this tutorial we are going to briefly discuss about the design and simulation of micro strip patch antenna using cst uh, we will discuss each and everything about the design and simulation of micro strip patch antenna uh, using cst in four sessions our our first uh, in part one, uh, we will discuss. Uh, in part one, we will shortly introduce the micro strip patch antennas. In part two, we will discuss about the parameters calculations uh, for the design of micro strip patch antennas. In which, uh, first of all, we will calculate the length and width of uh, patch by using calculation formulas as well as online method. Uh, secondly, we will calculate the width of feed line in order to match the input impedance of an antenna and that will be calculated online from CST. Uh, thirdly, we will discuss uh, about the calculation of length of feed line and uh, length of feed line will be calculated by using formula as well as online from CST. As far as part uh, 3 is concerned, we will discuss the de complete uh, design steps of micro strip patch antenna. Uh, using CST in this step and uh, first of all uh, we will discuss about the design of ground then we will design substrate then we will design a uh, patch with inset feed line and finally uh, we will uh, provide waveguide port excitation to power up that antennas uh, in part 4 uh, we will discuss about the simulated result of micro strip patch antennas and uh, uh, these results includes S parameters S11 are return losses, gain, directivity, radiation pattern and few other results as well. So let's begin. As far as the introduction of micro strip patch antennas is concerned, micro strip patch antennas are also known as printed antennas because uh, such type of antennas are fabricated using mi microstrip techniques on uh, printed circuit boards. Uh, microstrip patch antennas have become very popular in recent decades due to their following features. These features include uh, compact size, light weight, easy fabrication and installation and they have low cost as well. As far as the design of micro strip patch antennas is concerned, it, uh, its design uh, consists of uh, major three parts. Part one is uh, micro strip feed line uh, with patch, uh, part two is substrate and part three is ground. Such type of antennas are uh, named as a micro strip patch antennas just because uh, they have a feed line with width of micrometers thick, uh, micrometers uh, width so, so that's why uh, this strip is known as micro strip feed and that radiating part is known as patch so that's why such type of antennas are named as a micro strip feed antennas so that's all about the short introduction of micro strip patch antennas <laughs> move toward the second part about the calculation of uh, uh, width and uh, uh, length of patch as well as the calculation of width and length of feed line so first of all uh, just open your browser and you have to type online antenna parameter calculator so different websites are av available for online parameters calculation for example uh, we are going to uh, use this Pastronek website. So first of all, if you have to calculate the width and uh, length of uh, simple micro strip patch, uh, then you can uh, use these formulas for width calculation and length calculations, right? But uh, if you don't want to uh, use uh, these formulas, as uh, these formulas will obviously demand lengthier calculations so you can easily calculate uh, the value of width and length from uh, this online facility so first of all uh, for example we are going to design a micro strip patch antenna uh, for Wi-Fi applications 
and obviously its operation frequency or operating frequency will be considered as a 2.45 gigahertz so now it will demand uh, the values of uh, dielectric constant and dielectric height so uh, for lower frequencies uh, we can simply use FR4 substrate and the height of FR4 substrate is considered as a 1.59 or 1.5 uh, 1.6 millimeters and uh, its dielectric constant is about 4.4 so just putting these values you can easily calculate the length and width of uh, the patch so width of the patch uh, will be 37.23 mm and length will be uh, 28.81 mm so as far as uh, the calculation of uh, uh, width of feed line and length of feed line then you can easily calculate the uh, length and width of feed line by using simple uh, uh, from uh, CST so let's uh, start your CST and uh, you have to design a simple planner or patch antennas so for example uh, if we are going to design an antenna for Wi-Fi application and its operating frequency is 2.45 so just you can set the range from 2 to 3 and uh, you will calculate E field, H field and FAR field and you have to define it on 2.45 right so just click on next and just finish now uh, in this step as we have already calculated the uh, length and width of patch now we have to calculate the uh, length and width of uh, feed line as well so first of all width of feed line is very important uh, because width of feed line obviously uh, provide you the input impedance so that's why uh, just go to home and from uh, this uh, macros icon you can easily calculate the analytical line impedance so as uh, this is our thin micro strip and you know that we are going to use fr4 substrate and its height is 1.6 and uh, its dielectric constant is 4.4 so operating frequency is 2.45 so now uh, the one and only thing that can be uh, changed uh, in this uh, calculator is the width of feed line so we can only can uh, change the value of width of feed line uh, to uh, set the impedance value equal to 50 ohms right so for example if i increase it to 2.9 and then uh, i want to calculate the value of impedance it is around about 51.85 right so similarly if uh, you want to reduce its value then uh, you can adjust the value of width of feed line only right because height dielectric constant and uh, frequency cannot be changed so we can uh, just change the value of uh, width of feed line right so it can be considered as 3.08 so uh, if we will uh, set the width of feed line equal to uh, 3.08 then obviously for this design uh, it can provide us 50 ohms impedance so that's about the width of feed line similarly you can uh, calculate the length of feed line here from macros as well uh, just uh, you have to uh, click on the calculate wavelength right and now uh, your operating frequency is 2.45 and uh, your dielectric constant are is 4.4 and its uh, uh, permeability is round about 1 in case of FR4 substrate so just click on OK it will uh, provide you the value of total wavelength which is 58.3 and uh, according to the lambda by 4 transformer principle uh, we will consider the length of feed line equal to the lambda by 4 transformer and that will be a quarter wavelength and that is 14.52 so that's why uh, the length of feed line will be considered as 14.52 
and width of feed line will be considered as a uh, 3.08 right ok so uh, that's all about uh, the calculation of uh, length and width of feed line and calculation of uh, length and uh, width of uh, micro strip patch right so now move toward uh, step number three <laughs> Okay, now uh, moving toward the step number C, which is about uh, uh, the design of uh, micro strip patch and then on CST. First of all, as we have already opened the CST, go to the modeling and select uh, brick and then press escape key. First of all, for example, if we have uh, first of all, uh, uh, if we have to design uh, ground, then first of all we have to uh, put the values here. Uh, for example, if I consider uh, uh, width on x-axis and length on y-axis, then first of all, uh, we have to uh, consider this uh, width value of patch. So, for example, if we want to design uh, that patch at the origin, then obviously uh, half of its part uh, will be designed on its minimum x-axis or negative x-axis and half of it, its, its parts will be designed at positive x-axis right but as you have already uh, observed that uh, uh, there is a proper gap uh, uh, on the all, all sides of patch uh, uh, for ground and substrates so for example if I consider this gap as a 5 mm on all the sides then obviously along the width we will also add uh, this gap so uh, this gap will be added as a minus 5 on uh, negative x axis and uh, this uh, gap will be added as a plus 5 on positive x axis right so similarly along the y axis so we will consider a length of patch along the y axis and that length is basically uh, 28.2 so we will consider it uh, at the origin so it's uh, half of the part will be uh, designed on uh, y min and half of its part will be designed on positive y axis right so on the positive y axis if i consider uh, if i consider uh, this as a positive y axis then i will provide 5 mm gap on positive y axis as well but on negative y axis uh, i will add uh, the length of micro strip feed line so we have already calculated the length of feed line so first of all uh, just add uh, this gap of 5 mm and positive axis and just add the length of feed line and we have already calculated the length of feed line by lambda by 4 transformer method and that is 14.58 right so it will be 14.58 Similarly, along the z-axis, we will consider the thicknesses of the ground, substrate, and then patch. So, for example, if we are going to start it from zero, uh, then the total height of uh, this ground will be considered as a 0.035 mm, right? And material will be loaded from a uh, library, and that will be copper and eld, right? So, just load it, and then uh, you can just click on preview so that is all about the design of ground so uh, secondly we will design the substrate so all the values so all the values uh, will be same uh, for the substrate as uh, ground so as we have already uh, used this width of feed line on x axis so we will design half of uh, this width of feed line on uh, negative axis uh, with uh, the gap of 5 mm and similarly uh, we will design half of the width on positive x axis with gap right similarly uh, length of uh, the patch is considered as a 
28.82 and we will consider uh, this uh, part on negative y axis and similarly we will add uh, the length of feed line on the negative x axis uh, negative y axis right so 28.82 divided by 2 so that half of its parts will be on positive x axis and then we will just add uh, the gap of 5 mm now its uh, starting point will be the top of ground right so top of ground will be at 0 0.035 and starting from this point uh, you will have to add the thickness of substrate and that is 1.6 right and substrate uh, is considered as a FR4 so that's why we will load it from libraries and we will just click on preview right so you can uh, just preview it and just press ok ok so that's all about the design of ground and then substrate so again go to the modeling and now you have to design the patch so name it as a patch and you will use similar values so this is the width of patch and obviously we will design half of its part on positive axis and half of its part on negative x axis no need to provide the gap in this uh, patch because uh, uh, the gap was considered for substrate and ground right so similarly uh, the length of patch is 28.82 so uh, we will consider half of its part on negative x y axis and half of its part on positive y axis as far as it, its thickness is concerned so 0 0.035 is the top of ground plus 1.6 will be the top of the substrate so starting from the top of substrate you have to uh, just add 0 0.035 as a thickness of the patch and its material will be considered as a copper and it right so just click on preview and that is uh, your patch right so just press uh, 5 shortcut key to uh, preview its front side so now as this antenna is basically inset feed antenna so first of all we have to make a cut uh, at the bottom of this patch and then we will add the feed line right so from modeling uh, you can name it as a patch cut and uh, as you know that uh, first of all uh, the width of feed line is 3.08 right so we will uh, provide the feed line at the center and for that purpose we will uh, take its half of value along the negative axis and half of value along the positive axis so that will be the width of feed line and then we have to add the gap for example if uh, uh, the gap is 1 then we will uh, add the gap as a 1 mm on both sides of this because we have to provide the proper gap in inset feed right similarly as far as uh, y max and y mean values are uh, considered first of all you know that uh, along y axis we have considered the length of patch and length of patch along the y axis is 28.2 and its half will be uh, at the bottom of this uh, patch right so uh, starting uh, from this bottom we will add uh, add the uh, height of this inset feed for example uh, the height of this inset feed is 1.2 mm then we will simply add this right and uh, as you know that uh, its uh, thickness will be from 0 0.035 plus 1.6 and uh, plus 0 0.035 as we have to cut 
uh, cut the patch and thickness of patch or location of patch is uh, at uh, starting from 0 0.035 plus 1.6 to uh, the 0 0.035 plus 1.6 plus 0 0.035 you can uh, consider it any type of material or even you can uh, consider any type of uh, matter uh, as we have to cut this part so now you can uh, easily observe its preview so we are going to cut this part to provide inset feed right at the center and at the bottom of the patch because we have to consider the length of feed line here at the bottom of patch right so when you just click on ok it will provide you an option and you have to cut away the highlighted shape right so the final uh, step in uh, design of micro strip patch antenna is the uh, design of feed line right so you can name it as a feed line and as you know that width of feed line is 3.08 and you have to design it at the center so you will design half of its part on negative axis and half of its part on positive axis uh, similarly its uh, y max point will be uh, the bottom point of uh, the length of this patch and bottom point of length of this patch is 28.82 and uh, we have recently added 1.2 as the uh, length of this inset feed right so starting from this point its uh, y min will be uh, simply starting from starting from this mm, bottom point starting from this bottom point you will further add length of feed line and fin length of feed line was 14.58 right you can confirm it as well it is 14.58 right so z min will be 0 0.035 uh, plus 1.6 and 0 0.035 plus 1.6 plus 0 0.035 and it, its material will be copper and it now just click on preview and you can check that it is properly uh, its uh, upper side properly touching the patch and its lower side is up to uh, the end point of the substrate and ground right so simply you can click on ok so now you have to add the patch uh, with the feed line right so just click on ok so that's all about the design and uh, design of ground substrate and patch and finally you have to uh, provide the uh, waveguide port excitation so for that purpose uh, just zoom the end point of uh, uh, this feed line and just press F to select the surface of this bottom surface of this feed line right that is basically the bottom surface of feed line right so after selecting the bottom surface of feed line just go to simulation and just click on waveguide port right so as far as the values of x max and x min are concerned uh, along the width of feed line as per standard it, it must be uh, the three times the width of feed line as width of feed line is 3.08 so you can consider it as a three times the width of feed line along the width of uh, this feed line similarly uh, z min point uh, is at the top and you have to uh, approach the ground as well because you have to radiate uh, this antenna just uh, by providing the connection between the ground and patch so uh, this is at the height of uh, 1.635 and if we simply uh, subtract 1.635 uh, then we will uh, uh, we will uh, approach the ground uh, plan as well because we have started the ground plan from zero so that's why I have provided simply uh, the value uh, in this box as a 1.635 okay 
so now you can observe that it is touching the ground as well so as per as the value of z max is concerned so as per uh, normal standard it must be the four times the height of substrate and height of substrate is 1.6 so that's why it should be 1.4 times the 1.6 uh, so just click on preview and you can observe the uh, dimensions of this feed line it is properly touching the ground and it has proper uh, where width equal to the three times the width of feed line and its height is four times the height of substrate so uh, just click on ok and now you can easily uh, simulate that antenna right so that's all about uh, the design procedure and now uh, we have uh, started the simulation after the completion of simulation we will discuss about the results of micro strip patch antenna <laughs>